What's up fish lovers, welcome to Sax Tanks, Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today, we're gonna move the Dragon Puffer into the 32 gallon cube. And we did a scape with Dragon Stone, so we're gonna take a look how he looks, how the Dragon Puffer looks against the Dragon Stone. So, I'm also gonna show you how to move a puffer. And it's gonna be a quick video, so stay tuned, and thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and to share, please. And if you didn't watch the escape video, do it over here. And otherwise, let's get to it, fish lovers. All right. So this is how the tank looks now. If you saw my last video, I stole the rock with Sabuasa tank on it. I'm gonna lift out all the other things from this aquarium now so we can so I can show you how to take up how to move a puffer the right way I've done a video about that two times before I think but puffers are so popular now so why not do a video about it again Might as well shake off some debris. You don't get that to another aquarium. Yeah, so I will keep this tank as a quarantine tank for a while so I can figure out what I'm gonna do with it. So, when you're netting out a puffer, you want a container and not a net because they can puff up when they are in the net out of water and then it can be really hard for them to get that air out again so they can die from that so you need to be really careful usually he's very calm I've been feeding him so hopefully it's not gonna be that hard to catch Okay, a lot more energy than he usually do do it, but there we have him. So I will put something dark over here so I don't stress him. Too much and then I will mount the camera in front of the new scape we made in the 32 gallon cube so we right back so here we have the new dragon stone with a dragon puffer and as you can see we have plenty of Malaysian trumpet snails in here I've been feeding the tank with food some people use ammonia to keep the cycle going I think it's I don't think that's necessary you can just put in fish food, even if you don't have fish, and that will create ammonia, ammonia and keep the cycle going. Now the lighting is going to be a little less, so we can get this huge bucket in. You guys ready? Hope he or she is. I'm gonna. Put the whole thing in and let him or her swim out by herself. So, easy enough. That is how you move a puffer safely. She looks cool against the dragon stone. I wish she can hide all the time in plain sight. And 
and I have more peace of mind and less work to do with her. So you, you can keep her in a 20 gallon, or as I did, in a 17 gallon. But you need to clean the filter a lot and change a lot of water, I always do, but you need to really stay on top of the filter because they are mess messy fish. So I didn't think it was worth it, especially now when I'm gonna go away from home and live in another apartment four to five days a week. She looks good. Or he. I don't know the sex of the fish. Yep. Thanks for watching guys.